Let's look at this addition question. 369 had 148. Now, as adults, we're very likely to do this. Nine add eight, 17. Six add four is 10, one more makes 11. Three add one is four, one more makes five. Final answer, 517. But if you're eight or nine years old, you may be encouraged to use an empty number line. There's the number line. You plonk on it the number 369. Remember the question is 369, add 148. And you might say, OK, well, I'm going to add 100. That'll get me to 469. So I've added 100. Now we could add 40. That'll get me to 509. And now I've still got to add 8. That will get me to 517. Same answer. But you might be encouraged to use a number line in another way. 369 to start with. The question, remember, is 369 add 148. But we could say, well, how far is it to the next whole 100? Well, that's 400, so that's 31. So we've got 148, we've added 31. Well, let's just look at the 48. We could add... 17 on. So now we've added 48 altogether, that gets us to 417. And now let's add that final 100. Answer 517. Now that's just a couple of ways that we could do it with a number line. Very good to help pupils to visualize what they're doing, and it's very good for mental arithmetic. But children also need a written method. So have a look at our video clip on a method known as partitioning.